the factorial function. So the factorial function is one of the most basic functions in combinatorics, and it answers questions of the type, how many ways there are to place a number of objects into an equal number of bins. Okay, so in this case, let's think about seven objects into seven bins. So we can think about it like this. Here are seven objects, different types of animals, and we want to put them into the seven bins. So the only constraint is that each bin has to, at the end, hold exactly um, one of the animals. Okay, so that's a, possibility, a possible arrangement. The question is, how many arrangements like this can we have? Okay, so, um, so the way we're going to do it is we're going to fill the bins one by one from number one to number seven, and uh, each time count how many possibilities there are remaining, uh, how many possibilities we have for doing this choice. Okay, so let's start in bin uh, number one. And in bin number one, we have all of the possible choices. So all any one of these seven animals. Let's say we take this one. Okay? So we have the owl in the first bin. And um, the number of possibilities that we had was seven. Okay? All right. So next uh, we go to the second bin. And in the second bin, we have any one of these animals, so we have only six animals remaining, um, and one of them will go in here. So the number of possibilities that we have here is six. Okay, and similarly we continue and um, to to put the animals in the bins, going from left to right. And uh, next one we have five possibilities. Now we have only four possibilities. Now we have three possibilities. Now we have two possibilities. And now the only one remaining is the lion, so we have just one possibility. So in total, the expression that we get is 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Okay? And that is the definition of 7 factorial. Okay? So in general, n factorial is n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 and so on up to 1, down to 1. Okay? So that's it for the factorial.